one of the 15 psychological triggers to make people give is the bandwagon effect. Are you using it? Hi, it's Julie Gallagher here with part three of my fundraising tip series. My goal is to help you raise more money without spending a lot. I'm putting in a lot of extra work. In part one, I talked about an easy way to get more sponsors. And in part two, I talked about enhancing your donor list to make it more valuable. If you have any questions about these ideas, give me a call at 916-600-1033. I'm doing these videos as a community service for Sacramento area nonprofits, not to make money. And as long as we just brainstorm, I won't charge you. If you want me to create a written step-by-step -step guide or something like that, I'll have to charge you, but talking is free. So for part three, I want you to turn your donors and volunteers into an army that will support your fundraising efforts and create one of the most powerful marketing triggers, the bandwagon effect. What's the bandwagon effect? It's when people start doing something because everybody else seems to be doing it. So let's get your supporters to publicly declare their affinity to you by providing them with lots of branded content that they can share and wear. So when you send an email to your donors and volunteers, do you ask them to help you promote your events and activities? Now, when you ask them to help you promote, you both benefit you get increased publicity, and they get good PR. Remember that everyone who supports you isn't exclusively doing it because of their good heart. Some want to be recognized because volunteerism and philanthropy is good for business. So if, if you've worked on social media or marketing projects, you're probably familiar with a website named Canva. That's canva.com. It's a free design platform with thousands of templates, photos, graphic elements, music, etc. that's perfect for the amateur designer. Over 100 million people in over 190 countries are using Canva to make invitations, social media posts, logos, etc., and you might be one of them. But there are other things that you can make with Canva as well that you might not be aware of, and I want to share some of those with you. For instance, you can make a background for Zoom calls. So you put your information about your event or what you're trying to promote in the corner, and you leave a space for the person to put their face when they're Zoom calling with their friends or family or business associates and get some PR for your event. Similar to that, you can make what used to be called a Chiron. That's the banner that goes across the bottom of the television screen and allow your organizations that support you to tell the world about it. For fun, you can make a wallpaper that goes on an iPhone or an Android phone and brand it so that people who came to your event can remember it and plan on coming the next year, that type of thing. You should be asking your supporters to share the posts and stickers and GIFs that you make for your nonprofit. And for instance, you make an invitation, make sure that you put all of the information on the graphic itself, and then ask people to share it on their Facebook, their Instagram, their LinkedIn, their Twitter, and they're helping you to distribute that information. You can create stickers for your Instagram, it works on Facebook as well, and you create the stickers, then you upload those stickers to 
a site called Jiffy, and Jiffy distributes those stickers to Instagram using the hashtags that you've selected. So you put your branded hashtags, the name of your organization, the town where you're located, any other hashtags that are good for you, and then you be sure and tell your supporters when you're Instagramming, look for our stickers and put them on your items, put them on your stories and your reels and that type of thing. Here's my Sacramento Top 10 Jiffy account, G-I-P-H-Y, and it has all of these available for someone to use on their Instagram stories. Another way to get publicity is to create merchandise that your supporters can purchase to wear or for the home from Zazzle or one of the other print-on-demand shops. What happens is that for free, you are able to upload a design with your logo to go on their merchandise, add your markup, choose your price, and then if someone purchases, they send the, the company sends the merchandise directly to the customer. You don't have to handle it. Most nonprofits don't do this because it's really hard to make money off of it. The print-on-demand products are not cheap, but even if you only had 10 or 15 people buy your sweatshirt, when they wear it around, hundreds of people will see it. So it really is a great tool for PR. So here is a sweatshirt with the Iceland skating rink logo. And here's some leggings with yoga in the park. And here's a yard flag with the Sacramento Rock and Radio Museum logo. I made these all on Zazzle in just a few minutes. All I needed was the logo and to find something that they looked good on. Then I would make a photo like this and put it in my email and tell people, here's the link where you can buy it. And some people will. So I hope I've inspired you today uh, and given you some ideas on ways that you can make some additional money for your organization. I would really love to have you connect with me. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and LinkedIn at Sacramento Top 10. Of course, my name's Julie Gallagher. Some of those I'm there as that as well. And don't forget, I'm giving away a free social media promotional package. So follow the link, put your information in, and I hope you win. Thanks very much. Have a great day.